Welcome, thrill seekers and paranormal enthusiasts. Today, we embark on a chilling journey through the most haunted places in Missouri. Brace yourselves for a spine-tingling adventure. Our first stop is the infamous Lump Mansion. Its tragic history of family suicides has led to numerous ghostly encounters. The echoes of the past still haunt this place. Next, we venture into the eerie halls of the Missouri State Penitentiary. Once home to the most dangerous criminals, it's now a hotbed for paranormal activity. We then travel to the haunted Pythian Castle. Its dark past as a military hospital and orphanage has left a spectral imprint that continues to spook visitors. Our journey takes us next to the Governor's Mansion. Rumors of ghostly figures and strange noises have surrounded this place for decades. We now delve into the chilling tales of the Vale Mansion. Its history of tragedy and despair has given rise to many a ghost story. Our next stop is the haunted Morse Mill Hotel. Once a hospital and brothel, it's now known for its ghostly apparitions and unexplained phenomena. We then explore the eerie Union Station. Its history of tragic accidents has led to numerous reports of ghostly sightings. Next, we journey to the haunted Epperson House. Its tragic past and ghostly encounters have made it a must-visit for paranormal enthusiasts. We now venture into the chilling zombie road. Its dark history and eerie atmosphere have given rise to countless ghost stories. Our journey takes us next to the haunted Rockcliffe Mansion. Its tragic history and spectral sightings make it a spine-chilling destination. We then delve into the eerie tales of the Jesse James Farm. Its history of violence and ghostly encounters have intrigued paranormal enthusiasts for years. Our next stop is the haunted Thespian Hall. Its history of tragedy and ghostly sightings have made it a hotbed for paranormal activity. We now explore the chilling tales of the Oliver Anderson House. Its bloody past and spectral sightings continue to spook visitors. Our journey takes us next to the haunted Elms Hotel. Its history of mob activity and ghostly encounters have made it a must-visit for thrill-seekers. We then venture into the eerie halls of the Missouri University. Its history of tragic events has led to numerous reports of ghostly sightings. Our final stop is the haunted Kemper Arena. Its tragic past and spectral sightings have made it a chilling destination for paranormal enthusiasts. Thank you for joining us on this spine-tingling journey. If you enjoyed this chilling adventure, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thrilling tales of the supernatural. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the unknown. Welcome, brave souls, to a journey through the eerie landscapes of Montana. Prepare for a chilling exploration of the state's most haunted locations. Our first stop is the infamous Garnet Ghost Town, a place where the past lingers and whispers of the departed echo. Once a bustling mining town, Garnet now stands deserted. But some say, the spirits of miners still toil away, oblivious to the passage of time. Next, we venture to the haunting halls of the old Montana prison. Its stone walls hold stories of despair and redemption, forever trapped within. Inmates long gone, but their spectral presence remains. Listen closely, and you might hear the clanging of cell doors and distant cries of regret. We now tread lightly into the Bannack ghost town. Once a gold rush hub, it's now a chilling testament to the fleeting nature of fortune. The spirits of prospectors and outlaws roam here, forever bound to their quest for gold. Their spectral whispers add to the eerie silence of Bannack. Our journey takes us to the Hotel Mead next. Its grandeur faded, but the spectral guests continue their eternal stay. In the quiet, one might hear the phantom laughter of parties long past, and the soft whispers of lovers forever separated by time. We now approach the Boulder Hot Springs, a place of healing turned haunting. The ethereal presence of a lady in white is often reported here. Her mournful sighs echo through the halls, a chilling reminder of a life cut short, forever seeking solace in the healing waters. Our final stop is the Little Bighorn Battlefield. A place of great conflict, the spirits of fallen warriors are said to linger here. Visitors report phantom war cries and the thundering hooves of ghostly horses, a spectral reenactment of the battle that once raged here. These haunted places hold more than just ghost stories. They are a testament to Montana's rich and often tumultuous history. 
Each spectral whisper, each phantom echo, is a piece of the past refusing to be forgotten, reaching out to those who dare to listen. So, as our journey ends, remember, these places are more than just haunted. They are historical landmarks, forever etched with the stories of those who came before. Thank you for joining us on this chilling journey. If you enjoyed this spectral tour, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and remember, the past is never truly gone. It's just waiting for us to listen. Imagine standing alone in a room, feeling a sudden chill, and hearing whispers from nowhere. Welcome to Nebraska's most haunted places. Our journey begins at the infamous Seven Sisters Road, where a tragic tale of family feud and death lingers. Legend says, a man hanged his seven sisters along this road, and their spirits still haunt it, seeking justice. Next, we venture into the chilling halls of the old Nebraska State Capitol, where echoes of the past still resonate. Visitors report strange occurrences, like the sound of footsteps and whispers when no one else is around. We then delve into the eerie atmosphere of the Ball Cemetery, where apparitions and ghostly laughter are common occurrences. The most infamous spirit here is a tall, aggressive figure known as Rattlesnake Pete, who doesn't take kindly to intruders. Our journey takes a darker turn as we explore the Museum of Shadows, home to hundreds of haunted artifacts. Each item here carries a story, a piece of history, and perhaps, a lingering spirit. We then step into the chilling corridors of the Hummel Park, where legends of ghostly apparitions and strange rituals abound. The infamous staircase to hell here is said to have a different number of steps each time you climb it. Our exploration of the unknown takes us next to the Alliance Theater, where the spirit of a former actress is said to linger. She's been seen in the dressing room mirror, and her ghostly applause heard during performances. We conclude our journey at the eerie Blackbird Hill, where a tragic love story ended in death and eternal haunting. A woman's scream can be heard every October 17th, the anniversary of her death, echoing her eternal sorrow. These haunted places in Nebraska hold stories of the past, whispers of the departed, and a chilling allure for the curious. Are these tales mere folklore, or is there something more? The answer lies in the shadows, waiting to be discovered. Thank you for joining us on this chilling journey. If you dare to explore more, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, keep the lights on.